In a weekend roundup of the box office, Barbie maintained its number one spot, crossing the $1 billion mark globally. And then at the number two spot, we got the newcomer, the Meg 2, the Trench, actually doing pretty well at the weekend box office. So Meg 2, the Trench, the second Jason Statham-led shark thriller, is swimming to $112 million in its international box office debut, bringing its global total to $142 million. And if you actually look at Box Office Mojo, you can see, I mean, yeah, it made $30 million domestically, and then most of it came from overseas, which is actually uh what to be expected from this type of movie because the first one apparently had a huge international audience and this one obviously it's more of the same and on a budget of around 130 million dollars that means it needs to make probably 300 uh let's say 400 million dollars at the box office globally in order to be considered a success and right now if you're tracking it compared to the previous one it's actually doing pretty well i mean it's not exactly the same it's a little bit lower but i mean with the second move i mean the first movie in the series it hit 530 million and this isn't too far off i mean you can look at the domestic opening it's it's a little bit lower uh for this new one than the was than the first one but like i said i mean this one made well over what it needed to be to be uh, considered profitable and if you actually look at the numbers from when it first came out this one hit 146 million dollars globally on its opening weekend whereas the second one was just at 142 which is a, it's obviously lower but i mean it's not so much lower but one thing that's really interesting is looking at the chinese market because this movie is actually co-produced with the chinese company and that's why they're actually opening up their box office to them more and american companies co-producing with them actually get the bigger take than normal studios that are opening in china usually it's like I don't know, the studio gets maybe a 30% cut. I don't know what the cut is for this, but it's obviously a lot more significant. But when you look at the first movie, when that came out, that made $50.7 million. Yeah, $50.7 million on its opening weekend in China. Whereas you go back to this uh, this new movie, it made $53.3 million. So it's actually faring a little bit better in China than the, uh, than the first movie in the series. So in other words, it's it's up in the air like whether this is going to do better than the first movie i mean it might not be but i mean it's still probably going to be profitable and obviously the first one was profitable if they're gonna if they made a sequel to it and they're kind of just almost redoing it in the same way you know a lot of people are thinking like well this was just the opening weekend it might not have the good word of mouth to carry it on well the first movie i mean it didn't have the greatest reviews coming out or whatever in the second one it's I mean, it's even worse amongst critics. I mean, it's decent amongst audiences right now. I mean, at least it's okay amongst audiences. And granted, this is the early one, so that's probably going to slip too. But I don't know. I mean, I think people kind of going into this know what to expect. I mean, no one's going to think like, oh, well, this isn't like a, a classic movie or whatever, very philosophical that you can think. It's like, no, it's it's a monster movie. You're just coming here to watch sharks. And from what I understand about the movie, because I haven't seen it yet, it it's just it's one of those movies maybe it might get a little bit slow to get started but once the shark comes out or whatever then it's more fun and it's it, just kind of what people want and i think studios would be wise to do that from now on just i don't know maybe every once in a while just sprinkle in a movie that uh it's obviously it's just it's junk food but that's kind of what people want is just a junk food movie that you can just go eat popcorn watch it have a good time and then leave and then that's it i mean there's nothing more to it than that i mean everything doesn't have to be super crazy or whatever and i don't know maybe uh this isn't one of those movies maybe it will just have a huge drop off i'm kind of curious what the drop off on this one's going to be compared to the first one but i think this is actually going to hold up fairly well and even if it doesn't make as much money as the first movie i think it'll still be profitable and I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we'll have a MiG-3. I mean, or maybe they're just thinking this is getting a little ridiculous. But let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you like the video, make sure you click the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest news. Thank you.